Ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please. This contest is for the British Welterweight Championship and belt. Championship rules apply. 12 three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between, ladies and gentlemen, on my left and in the red corner, the challenger here this afternoon from Warrington, your kind appreciation, young David Smith. And in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, from Bradford, the British welterweight champion, Jimmy Brakes. And there's the British welterweight belt held by Jim Brakes. Still, after a rather controversial bout uh, a few months back, on, which you probably saw on television. More about that a little later. Young David, the challenger, Jim Brakes, the holder of the British welterweight title. Second out, first round. Right, here we are for the title of British Welterweight. Title and belt held by Jim Brakes, challenger Dave, David Smith, young David as he's known in the ring. And the next 12 rounds of three minutes each will tell us whether young David can get near it. He vastly experienced Jim Brakes against him. Jim Brakes... Uh, Very nearly lost it a, a month or two ago, as you remember on television. To young David. Young David actually got the decision at the time, but uh, it was decided that Jim Brakes' trainer, Alan Dennison, who was on this bill earlier this afternoon, is in this hall, but of course he's not allowed anywhere near the ring this time. But I'm sure he'll be there watching his protege, young David, right the way through this part from somewhere a long way from the rain. We will never know, of course, whether young David would have beaten Brakes uh, a month ago on that bout if it hadn't been for Alan Dennison distracting Brakes' attention, obviously intentionally, and that's why he's not allowed near the ring this time. Crowd, of course, all for the young fellow, only 17. 17 last November. Obviously, one of the up and coming stars of the future, this boy. Nicely out. Nicely. Still got the chance to do it again. Quick head mare by Brakes, but still in trouble with that hand. And it's the finger of the lock now that young David's gone for with about 12 seconds left in this first round. Way out to the bell and Brakes knew it. So, as if the crowd here at uh, the Cliffs Pavilion went for this boy before it started, they certainly are now after that exhibition by Brakes out to the bell. Then, then David from Goldburn near Warrington. Thanks. Second out, round two. Round two, 11 to go, and no score. Two falls to the side, of course. Jim Brakes in his usual striped trunks.
Weight-wise, he's got a seven-pound weight advantage over David. And David could still but, uh, fight as a lightweight, actually. He's going up a weight for this title if he gets it. Jim Brakes is right in the middle of the world away bracket, 11 stone 7. Young David at 11 stone. <laughs> about that fingers under the nose as he pulled his hand back over the top of the head there. So Grace might have something to say about that as he goes for the full-on grab. is a good bridge, trying to get his feet underneath him to get the balance. And he's got the hard advantage if he gets up there. And breaks using the bottom rope quite illegally, so he causes the break. Terrazio will have none of that at all, especially in a title bout. Side headlock now to breaks. 30 seconds to go, round two. I bet you won't add it for a while. <laughs> Makes one of his quick line, one line race to the crowd. That's on the red turn right hole with the feet, turning his man right round, but he's only got three seconds. Brakes taking his time on releasing this. Accidentally pulling it against the joint as he releases it. Brakes temporarily fit the better of him again and spoil his chances, which so often happened before. He's got the title now, all he's got to do is to hold it. Second up, round three. Round three, time to go. Still no score. Breaks versus Young David. Breaks the attacking from the rear now on the headlock with the short hair cap. So he caught him beautifully on the way. Caught him perfectly, but can he avoid the ropes? He's got it away from the ropes at the moment. Now, under the ropes, the referee won't allow it to continue. Break. Bad luck. Young David had him in trouble there for a minute. And Breaks won't leave him alone to get up there. David's come across to try and cross the front of the forearm, but yes, he broke the hold. Force breaks to leave, release the hold, but he really hasn't done any much good apart from that. Okay, 
Let's try the same toe and ankle, and that same left leg, and putting the full weight on it. Young David will have to start his speedy stuff pretty soon if he's going to worry Jim Brooks. His experience is really a little too much for him, maybe. One minute to go in the third. Nicely avoided that one, kid. But not that one. Trouble so far this move and that left foot of his. Brakes turning it right the way around. Trying to get a submission from it. He's got eight seconds. Four, three, two late. And Brakes once again couldn't resist that move after the bell. Gives a severe talking to as we. See so young David getting up in the second, working on that knee there. It's the knee that seemed to worry him most. The referee went over to see. But you know, he's okay. Well, at nine rounds to go, he could come back and he uses his speedy Send moves. Out round four. Round four. No score. Breaks with these striped trunks. Holder of the British Waterweight Coast. And the challenger, Young David from Warrington. Grace is continuing pressure on that uh, turn and ankle on the left foot. Now. Has caused trouble with it in the last round, the last two rounds, in fact, and he's going for it again. Trying for an early submission. Press, but the foot breaks foot right under the bottom rope, and the referee didn't see it. The referee did not spot it. I think the MC might have something to say about that. In one minute 20 seconds of round four, it looks like the first ball of the young David, but breaks complaining bitterly, and he's right because his foot was way under the bottom rope. Ladies and gentlemen, Unfortunately, Jimmy Brake's boots were through the ropes. Yes, one count. That ball is disallowed. That's where the master of ceremonies can help the referee when he's unsighted on occasions, and he didn't spot. Second he admits he didn't spot. The, the uh, Brake's left leg going at the ropes. But it's the end of the round anyway, and the start of round five with no score. That young David fall not counting because the ropes break should have been ordered before the counter three. And it's a break special. Already he's trying a lift from it, and the kid trying to squeeze the sides of his opponent as he takes the lift to ease the pressure. But he's got to get all the way down, and can he bring breaks with him? But he didn't take the arm the first time, and he got one arm now. No, he, he messed that one up. <clears throat> Unlucky. <laughs> Side headlock breaks. Breaks apparently has switched from the treatment to the 
kid's left leg and now going for the left arm in his submission specials. Here's another. Submission with it or not. Second time he's tried it. In the meantime, I should think young David's happy that Brakes is leaving his left leg alone, which was causing him some trouble earlier. He's out of that one already. Just a minute to go in the fifth. And David must not fall for that trick. Another of Brakes' specials. He's often got to fall with that trick. Just trying to make his man turn his back to him for a second so he can get the advantage. Again the arm, but different move with 25 seconds to go. Young Davis, too young for the belt, isn't he, laddie? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's confident the moment, Briggs. No, and there's the arm lever. Hold on, my Briggs feet. Eight seconds. No submission yet. Six, five. Going for the upside arm, but Briggs doesn't know it's so near the end of the round. Young David was glad to hear the bell end. Still, he's not worried about the leg anymore. The question is whether that left arm of his is going to cause him trouble now after that continued great special effort. This boy, who was in the Ted Beckley stable originally, Beckley now retired, and Alan Dennison takes him Second down, round at six. Seven rounds to go as we start round six with no score. A couple of near things, but no actual pinfall or submission reached until now. As Briggs once again goes for that special of his on the arm lever. <laughs> Referee a bit suspicious of that, but he was he has the kid back to him when he when Briggs delivered it, so he's not sure. Shoulder wrench. He did that well last time. Maybe he's going to start that trick now. It'll be useful to him if he does. He must not turn his back, though. Great, a nice switch on the post. Time. Posting on the referee didn't like it to the hair pull. It's the hair pull that it, he's warning him about, and the kid's left arm is really worrying him now as he went straight into the corner post underneath the cushioning. And the corner, and of course, breaks going straight for that left arm again. And surely he must get a submission from this one. Kid looking down to see if he can try and counter with the feet, but now it's the backhammer position now. Oh, he shouldn't have done that. That was his own fault of going for that, trying to get over Brakes back. And one minute to go in the sixth. Again, Brakes concentrating on this left arm now, and the lift from it, and it... Can the kid take it as he lands on the top rope as well from that same... Unpleasant, twisted position of the arm. Brakes now really confident, thinks he's got it all his own way now. Come on, have a look at this bitch on television! 
30 seconds. Great's now verbally trying to persuade him somewhat. There's still about 12 seconds the kid's got to take this for before the bell will help him. It's too late now, I think. Breaks can be made angry. I'm sure the young kid is thinking of that. The more trouble he gets himself into by losing his toe. And I'm sure young David is going on that assumption in a way. As he tried then the bell to shove him away with his uh, hand in the face. But still no sign of any score as we come up to round seven. Second out, round seven. Six to go. No score. Breaks the holder. Young David, the challenger. In case you've just tuned in on this uh, tremendous bar, it breaks in the stripe trunks, the horizontal stripe trunks, the champion from Bradford. And his young 17-year-old challenger from Warrington. I still haven't seen Alan Dennison, his, uh, the kid's trainer, in the hall. I know he's watching this bout. I was missing a move of it somewhere in this hall he's watching, but I haven't found him yet. But uh, one thing's for sure, he won't come to ringside, not until the kid is either knocked out or gets the belt. Side headlock, the kid got there first. How the, the young boy from Warrington managed not to submit from some of those great specials, I don't know. And a left by the hair. And he's broken quite rightly in a title bout, so he should be immediately. And referee Jodorazio just pulled him apart right on that hair foot. Breaker over the breaks left knee now. The kid almost reached, yes, he's got his head on his feet on the back, he's almost in the bridge there, but I don't think he'd be in a very comfortable bridge if he wasn't for breaks left knee. <laughs> he's seems to be going for the breaks forehead now, the right eyebrow. Just a minute to go in the seventh. Start of trouble. Perfectly legal that uh, cut of a hand. And breaks head enough. And he's back. He's out of the way. to not submit from the break specials both on his leg and his left leg and his left arm and he's done extremely well to stay this long but just whether he can continue it even with that uh, protection pad on his left elbow we'll see second out round eight the crowd here certainly want young david to succeed here like they saw him succeed or thought they had once on television before but unfortunately it was not allowed because of Alan Dennison the kid's trainer distracting Brakes' attention and Brakes remained the holder of the belt so this is the kid's chance to prove himself here 
once again against the experience of the Bradford wrestler. He just stops the bout when he likes, breaks with this uh, special move of his. And it's going with the legs. No! It's good thing that kid got his arm out of the way then. His legs were closing fast in that arm lever. He's trying it again. He's got it this time. Right against the joint with the legs. And he reached up Drake's face and Drake's not happy about that at all, but perfectly legal. It wasn't a punch. Going for the prolonged grab. It now it's hand all across the throat, but the kid gets in there with him. The face bar first. It's <laughs> 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 a little blood coming from his nose, but uh, nothing that really will worry. And he's laying on a bit in the crowd and see what they think of it. Yes, over the top, nice little double leg Nelson the Ted, but the feet came down on his head to get him off. One minute to go. And round eight. And breaks a little slow coming back there. I thought he had the kid in trouble. After that attempted double leg Nelson by Young David. And again, that left arm is in trouble. Five seconds. And surely the kid's head is under that bottom rope or very near. He's certainly touching now, so the break will come. Ten seconds. And still no sign of any pinfall or submission after eight rounds. Quite incredible. But there's still four to go, and Brake's making a fuss with the referee now about this nosebleed, I think. But the kid, still worried about the left arm. Adjusting that bandage to see if it can help protect it a bit. It's the left elbow that's worrying him most, obviously, after the special arm levers that Brakes has been laying on it. Second out, round at nine. Round nine, four rounds to go, and still no score in this title bout for the British Worldweight Crown. Jim breaks the holder versus Young David, the challenger. And the challenger down there with the white boots and the light wrestling strip has done so well to even stay this long against the experience of breaks. And this time he can't do it. He, gets, he has to submit this time in the ninth round. It's the first submission to breaks. With just 22 seconds gone in round nine. Ladies and gentlemen, in the ninth round, first submission in favor of the champion, Jimmy Brakes. So the World of Weight champion gets the first submission in round nine with just 22 seconds gone, and now even more confident than ever. But there are three rounds to go, and knowing this kid, he's got so much guts, he just could come back. Second out, round at ten. Now, can Brace get hold of that left arm? If he does, then the kid's going to be in trouble. He must get that left arm out of the way somehow. Brace, of course, going straight for it. Right from the back. Up. Brakes is there waiting for that special move again, trying for another submission. If he can do the left, he's probably going to be in trouble. The crowd's screaming at the kid not to give, but it's not so easy for him in there, taking this tremendous pain from the great special move. But he's conquering with the 
fingers perilously near the eyes there, but at least the face guard got him out of trouble, and the ref hasn't intervened. Wrist lock, backhand on position by Brakes from the top now. Still with the strain on that arm, putting the pressure on. Even though it's not the same move, it's still the pressure on the same spot. And he caught the arm on the way in the top rope intentionally, and the ref spotted it. Now the question is, he was, Rachel will say it was accidental. No, he. He's not getting away with it, it's a public warning. Ladies and gentlemen, Brakes receives his first public warning. So the first public warning for Jim Brakes for trying to use the top rope completely illegally to put on the pressure on that left arm as he threw his knee. <clears throat> so glad the referee spotted that and uh, disciplined Brakes for it because that arm is enough trouble without illegal moves. Just a minute to go now in the tenth. Still a confident breaks and still a very slow down kid at the moment. Come on. Come on. Foot on the bottom rope, break. 30 seconds. Variety breaks attacks now. He just goes that left arm all the time. He's forgotten about the kid's left leg, which, which is recovered by the past of the arm. Ten seconds. And breaks trying the pressure even there, that position. The referee right down to check the shoulder blades and the breaks, but no. It's the end of round ten, and still breaks leads the young David by one submission to nil, gained in the match. Two rounds to go. Now, can this kid hold up? He's done really well to hold up so far, especially after that submission occurred in the ninth round. But Brakes screaming at him, anything to try and put him off the comeback that the kid will want so much to bring about. Second up, round 11. Round 11, two rounds to go. And the kid, young David from Warrington, now trailing still by that one submission that Brakes gained in the, in the ninth round. And he was trying to come back on Brakes' left arm there with his own hold. But the straight fingers went to the stomach and stopped him. Referee not quite happy about that straight fingers, but actually it was. It wasn't a clinch just there. And so was that. And the headbutt follow. And a clutch hold of the kid. And a follow down cross press. Has he got the weight to handle? Oh no. Very nearly an equalizer. And again the grab of the hair, being reminded by the referee not to do that. Brakes getting a bit overexcited now as he goes for the hair again, and there's hands going into the face, whether their punches are not very hard to see. And the crowd really going mad now with excitement as the kid lies on the canvas. Not getting the count, so he doesn't have to hurry, and he knows it. Two minutes left in this penultimate round now, and Brakes goes for another great special with Aaron Lever. Well, there's no question who the crowds, who's who side the crowds on here this afternoon. That's for certain. I should think young David to a man. left arm in that position. It breaks making sure that it stays there in the back hammer position as, as long as he possibly can. One minute. And the left hand not over the throat but under the chin, pushing the head back onto the backhand. Which of course helps the backhand stay 
in that position. Jaw hold now the breaks. Not much the kid can do till he gets out of that backhand. Thirty seconds. Breaks leaning forward so much, concentrating on the that hammer he's got that he's forgotten about his own for the moment, but I think he's going to get out of it all right. 15 seconds in the 11th. Going for the back hammer again, breaks. Eight seconds. And a throw in the back hammer position, right on the bell of round 11. Well, now. Three things can happen only. Can this kid come back and equalize? He can't win it now unless he does it by a knockout because the round will finish if he gets the equalizing four submission. Or will Briggs get the 2-0 one that he really wants, the 2-0 win? Or will it stay 1-0, which means that Briggs holds the belt? The second out, 12th and last round. 12th and final one. Now the crowd again coming up, screaming for the kid to get back into this. Keep that left arm out of the way at all costs as the Brakes tries to shake hands at the start of the final round. Oh, the kid going right up on the top here to try and get the full crash. But, oh, he thought Brakes was going to move the other way and he mistimed that completely. Now the kid in real trouble. Six, seven, and it's the right hand looks like trouble, or is he feigning it to pull on Brakes and give him trouble? Yes, he's feigning it! He's feigning it! He was getting breaks in a... Oh, a beautiful con there by, by the kid. The kid had hurt himself, but he pretended to breaks that he was in real trouble. In 38 seconds of the final round, the kid, young David, gets the equalizing fall and really fooled Jim Breaks there. So it's a one-fall each draw, and Alan Jefferson now in the ring, Ladies really hugging his protégé. Flowers getting thrown all over the place as Alan Dennison attacks Jim Brakes with the bouquet that is going to be presented to the winner, but neither man is the winner. Alan Dennison wants the crowd to acknowledge his youngster as the winner. And they Ladies certainly and gentlemen, are. for the record, one fall to one submission, it's a draw. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the champion, Jimmy Brakes. Still the champion, Dennison. You should be in the stinking ring. You should know this one. Dennison's balling last time for me. And he's balling it this time. If Dennison's so good, why don't he get in the ring without him? Maybe you at home can hear that. I could. And ladies and gentlemen, young David Smith. Right, and with that draw of one fall each at the practically going the whole distance there, a wonderful effort by young David. It's goodbye from all of us here at Westcliff-on-Sea. Have a good week.